So, let's say you've calculated your uncertainty. Now, you want to write it down, say in your lab report. We normally write it down using the plus or minus notation in this course. There are other ways to do it, the bracket notation and so on, but we'll use the plus or minus. So if, for example, the mass of some object is 123 grams with an uncertainty of 4 grams, you write 123 plus or minus 4 grams. Next rule, don't generally quote your uncertainty to more than one significant figure. Don't call it 4.1 or 4.13. If the uncertainty was 40 grams, so let's say it was 40, we'd calculated 43 grams, we'd quote that as 40. We wouldn't quote the second significant figure, the 3. Why? Because it's very unusual for you to actually know uncertainties to more than one significant figure. I mean, it can happen, but especially in the labs as an undergraduate, you're extremely unlikely to have, know your uncertainty to better than this. In fact, you'd usually be much worse than that. Also, in real-world situations, uncertainties are really hard to work out. There are usually many factors you haven't considered, and you're very lucky if you know the uncertainty to more than one significant figure. The only normally acceptable uh, exception is if the first digit starts with a 1. So let's say the uncertainty was 13 then you can quote the second digit, the 3 in this case. If it was 0 0.017, again, you can quote the second. You don't have to round it to 0 0.02. But generally speaking, if the first digit of the uncertainty is not a 1, then only quote it to one significant figure. So that's the first rule. The second rule concerns the number of significant figures you need to quote. The bottom line is, don't quote any significant figures after the first figure of the uncertainty. So, for example, let's say you've calculated that uh, something has a value of 432.153, and your uncertainty is 11. No, because the first digit is the one I've quoted, 2. Then look at where the uncertainty is. In this case, it's in the tens place. And any digits after that should not be quoted. So this should be quoted as 4, 3, 0, plus or minus 11. Let's say it was 0 0.03971 plus or minus 0 0.002. Let's put the 0 0.002 here. This is where things show up. So that means you should not be quoting these. But of course, that's a 7 you'd round up. So this will come out as 0 0.040 plus or minus 0 0.002. The bottom line is you don't want to quote digits which are meaningless. You're wasting your own time in quoting them, and also you might mislead the reader who might think that those digits that you've so laboriously written down actually mean something. The most common mistake we see in physics classes are people plug something into their calculator and come up with an answer of 9.71934286.5 with an uncertainty of plus or minus 2. That should be 10 plus or minus 2 because all these digits are meaningless. They don't mean anything. But someone might look at that and say, oh, I wonder if it's a 5 or a 6, and actually th take it at its face value. You're misleading your viewers. Now, people get very hung up about this. Oh, I'm going to be marked down because I've lost a, an extra significant figure or something else. Don't worry about it. If you're out by a significant figure or two, we don't care in this course. We do care if you're out by about 15 significant figures or more than two or three. One or two I'm not too fussed about. Uh, it's not going to mislead anyone very badly, so don't obsess about it. But don't put ridiculous numbers down.